Okay. Okay, the drummer counts it off. Okay. Hey, Hi, we're Rudy, Rudy. And, and this, this is Records in, in My Life. life. There we are. So give us, give us the skinny on your new record. Well, we decided not to do the traditional album format and instead release songs in pairs on seven inches and um, might be thrown in a 10 inch in there sometime soon. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, Can you hear this? <laughs> Sounds quite like that, actually. So on a serious note, what's the name of, of the latest? Who, who else? Con anybody else contribute to the album, produce, um, and the name I, of it? I've been producing all of our music so far. But we are single and looking for producers. Yeah, so the last 7-inch that we're about to put out is... It's called... Did it, is it Mushroom just coming Cloud and out? DDT. Well, there's a new one that's coming out. We decided to um, scatter our... Much like the Tower of Babel, which was originally our record, we scattered it into many different peoples and to 7 inches, and we spread it far out over the calendar instead of releasing it all at once. Like, how does it How does it work? Like, you or people... How do people find your music? We make Sign it like an or? Easter egg hunt, you know? We make it really hard for them to find it, so that way it we filters made it very out... Difficult. We named ourselves a, a, a name that's impossible to Google and, yeah. and literally pronounce. impossible to find on Spotify. Yeah. So yeah. if you're looking for us, you've got to come to the show tonight because it's about the only way... It's the old-fashioned way. Shows who the real fans are if they can actually find our music. Yeah. We just hide actual so, physical 7 inches everywhere around America in <laughs> fields we just yeah on the top of a mountain and you can get if you send us an email on our website you can get some clues which come in the form of riddles and they right. involve multiple physical challenges uh, mental exercises and SAT exams to be able to actually locate one of our seven it's inches extremely to be able to circuitous. Play it. Yeah. It sounds that's a big word. Well, we just, I, I don't understand know. that word. I don't even know what it means. <laughs> with so words. much coming for very so much music for free these days, we figured we'd make fans actually work for it. Yeah. The the sad truth is nobody's actually executed all the physical challenges and answered all the riddles correctly, so they haven't found out we actually haven't recorded any music at all. <laughs> yeah, which is the real But truth. people believe that we have so much great music. We've got the greatest music, we've got the best music. We've people. got music, we've, we've got, got the, the greatest records. Music. We've got all the records. <laughs> so you guys spend not to be too cliche or ever make clear you spend lots of time in the van what's what's the best driving music oh. silence oh, frank's playlist <laughs> oh, frank has some really frank good exotica has the what were you playing last 50s, night it was 60s. your workout playlist <laughs> oh no no i don't know about that that one was His dubious playlist so sounded a disco. lot like baby making music yeah though. i don't know i, I don't like disco <laughs> what kind of workouts do you what? do Oh, uh, you know the the, uh, the Jane Fonda ones. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Get the, uh, the best, the best. Yeah. yeah. That explains all those tube socks you packed for this tour. <laughs> <laughs> you know, can't 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 hide it. <laughs> well, can we get one like an album maybe you've listened to in the van lately that you that you kind of like and enjoy? Oh well, actually, uh, let me do some professional promoting here. Today, oh. my friend Jack White's new album just came Let's out, which I play the bass on. And we just listened to the whole thing in the car to celebrate. It sounds we did. Really cool. We did. Yeah. She plays great. It sounds awesome. You guys should go check it out. After you do the physical and mental exercises to find an unique seven inch, listen to yes. Jeff White's record. <laughs> do that second. That is good driving. So that's good driving music in it your. It was good driving music. Oh yeah. man, the Black Angels. Great driving music. What other th albums were we listening to? Uh, Sabbath. We were listening to all of <laughs> Sabbath. We just listened to Sabotage earlier. Yeah. They were just referenced an hour ago by your buddy's um, Starcrawler. Oh yeah, she likes she likes Ozzy. They like they, they like their Sabbath. In yeah. fact, yeah. we we have a little That's something. What we, have we, have, we have we have a little gift. Do we want to give it away? For f Nick picked up a little something at a truck stop for Arrow. Oh, you can't, that, that's an intimate thing. No, yeah. it's not too intimate. It's you, you know. You're talking about you the axe. Show it? No, not the axe. That's, the that was something we weren't going to talk about. No, oh, no. Okay. Remember, we said we weren't going to talk yeah. about that <laughs> stuff. Yeah. This is going into into public domain, so you have to. Know, you know, if you, know. you're trying to keep. Do, do you not have it with you? Any, do you uh, have I I actually uh, been spending the uh, last four hours on it. I I painted this for you, Arrow. It's true. It's, it's, it's all yeah. true. This it's is a lovely you. moment. It's yeah. She she loves this kind of thing. She right? really likes <laughs> walls. Oh, <wait. laughs> so. 
<laughs> call me? All right, well, give us this question. I'm ready, coach. The question is, and it's a double jeopardy thing, we want a romantic album. Because we we've been talking like socks in the van and phallus and all this okay, stuff. Okay, so romantic? Let's... Seal. Crazy. Is that the name of the record? Crazy? No, I don't know. It's hard to find. I, I you know what is a really good fucking love song? She's so heavy. That's that's a good love song. That's a classic. Yeah. That's a classic. That's that's a good love song. Mm. It's a love song with Edge. And, and what uh, record? Give us what record? I don't know what the band that was. Uh, what band was that? The Monkeys, right? I don't know. I think that was the just Michael, a one, one hit uh, wonder. Michael Bolton. Yeah. Now Michael, Wait, Michael Bolton. Bolton. If you Michael his music Naismith? isn't that good, that? but if you put his videos on, and you do mute. And you watch that slow motion horseback riding. I, that's never. That's always done the trick for me when I, when I'm in the mood for a romantic encounter with myself. <laughs> I have, we, we have a nice romantic vision of that. Thank you. Let's do one more record. So we haven't touched upon a lot okay. of them, but let's do Records. one that's in 2018. A good a record for you guys. It's like under the radar. What do you consider? Like give a, our, mo- like a new a mus- album. Yeah, it's a musical education show. So give us a record. Right. Like a current audience. band. No, it yeah. doesn't have to be. It's something oh, okay, you good. discovered. Oh, okay, good. It's like I don't blown know under the radar. Bands. We were listening to that. Um, that oh, okay, there's to that James Brown record. Oh, the. It's called. It's it's funky down here. Show is funky down here. Show is. Can you show spell that for us? <laughs> okay, is there a W or is a W silent? Is a W implied with an apostrophe? It, it is actually, It is actually an apostrophe. Yeah, yeah. He's too cool to Well, it's weird. Tell us what's special about that album. It's uh, all instrumental, actually. It's a jam, right? It's an yeah. improvised jam. It does really? not sound like most James Brown that you've heard. I think it's from 1972, and it's just James Brown and the JBs jamming all night, and he's playing clavinet. And he's playing some interesting solos. Uh, James Brown is actually playing the clavinet solos, and yeah. there's some alternative note choices going on, but it's a mm. great record. Jazz is really a fear based music. <laughs> Why so quiet? <laughs> Um, um, also, I, I think uh, Gandalf is a great album. JK and Co., a lot of people don't know that song, Fly. He's like a 15-year-old boy who played oh, wow. everything himself in the 60s. That album. I don't. JK and Co., the song Fly is really killer. Um, Man, another- there's a new, you know, we're always looking out for new bands that are doing cool stuff. They're sort of hard to come by. But um, there's a band from, I think they're from New York, called Big Thief, that... Um, has one song out that she plays solo. She's a really great singer, and it's called Masterpiece. Right. It's a pretty good song. It. It's a pretty good song. You don't hear a lot of stuff like that these days. The rest, of, I only listen to one album. It was, that was that was the standout track for sure. But So I can't fully endorse it. I can endorse that one performance. It's a good record. I've heard it. Oh, yeah. I okay. can't remember the name of the record. I probably should know, but it's, uh, and they're getting I like think it was big... She Likes It All Night Long. <laughs> oh, Olivia Tremor Control. Really awesome. That's an old. Uh, that's an old one, right? Yeah. That's, um, I love their song "Sylvan Screen" a lot. And um, what was the band you were playing that kind of reminded me of them? Yesterday? Neutral. That's the neutral. Neutral thing. Milk Hotel. Ooh. Same school. Yeah, Elephant Six Collective. Yeah. Elephant was Six. it Timber Tamber or maybe it was Richard Swift? Was it Tim- Richard Swift is great. Yeah. Richard Swift. Yeah. Just turned me on to this artist yesterday in the van. It's really cool. And he produces a lot of stuff too, right? Richard Swift, doesn't he? Yeah. Like a studio. Yeah, yeah he's definitely very active in the music scene. Guys, thank you so much for being on the uh, on the show. Thank Had a you. great time. We like Thanks to so. ask everyone that comes on for some words of wisdom or advice Ooh. or a joke or you know a parting some parting thoughts. Okay, why do bagpipers walk while they play? Because they're trying to get away from the sound. <laughs> What's the difference between a baby and a bag of cocaine? Oh, man, you can't tell this one. Yes. <laughs> Eric Clapton wouldn't drop a bag of cocaine out of a window. Oh. And I like and it. And <laughs> I like it. Can we hear that? 